Hello, everybody! Welcome, welcome! We are back with some more of the Forever Lock Challenge here today with Pokemon Sun. I hope everyone is doing fantastically. I see we have lots of cool folks here in the chat already. I hope we're all doing well. Um, good to see all y'all. Uh, let's see, I see a Star Champ. I see an Elk. I see, let's see, Poison is here. Good to see you. Gold is here. Oh, lovely to see you. Lovely to see you in the chat. Very nice, very nice. Um... Welcome in. John Bill's here. Voices is here. Arcanite is here. Janita is here. Uh, Sachi is here. Oh, so good to see all y'all. Thanks for being here. Oh, Laura is here as well. And Rule Baker. Uh, thank you so much for popping in. I do appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone is uh, having a lovely... Oh God, what is today? Today is, today is Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday. <laughs> I love how I always like start, start uh, conversing. Uh, like, oh yeah, it's this day. And I'm like, it's a day of the week it is one of seven different possible days of the week <laughs> i know yeah, it has a beautiful beautiful overlay cover color i agree oh yeah uh, missing no gave us a good one this time yeah there's a perfect uh nickelodeon gak green perfect <laughs> um but yeah so yeah we're, we're we're gonna be jumping in yeah one so yeah one out of seven chances of getting it right yeah so at least at least there's that you know like i've got good odds you know what i mean <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so um, not a whole lot of changes on the squad since uh, since yesterday. Hey, Schmelody and Babel as well. Very good. Lots of lots of awesome folks in the chat today. I do appreciate it. Um, yeah, so not not a whole lot of differences from yesterday. We're basically right where we left off. I grinded like a couple levels just so everyone was evened out, but nothing nothing too crazy. Um, so yeah, today um, we are going to be continuing on Akala Island. Um, we need to uh, we need to grab our last uh, our last trial. Um, we'll just take a quick, quick little, you know, cursory glance at the team. I'm not gonna go over it super in depth. It doesn't really change. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, if we're lucky, we can knock out uh, Mallow's Lorantis with hopefully no problems. We do have type advantage in the Oracorio and also technically Noibat, I suppose. Um, but it's, I mean, as as most of y'all know, and we all kind of agreed yesterday, uh, Mallow's trial is like the spookiest one on Akala. And then after that, we also have to fight Olivia, <laughs> who is not very nice to our team. Uh, we do have the Staryu. That's why we added that after we lost our starter. We added the Staryu so we would have coverage for Olivia, but you know, it's just a Staryu, so it's you know, it's not gonna, <laughs> it's not, it's not gonna be like the strongest thing in the entire world. So yeah, we just, you know, we gotta be careful. Is I guess what I'm saying. Hopefully, we can pull it off. <laughs> Um, it's not the it's not the strongest team, but then again, I also said that yesterday, and we were able to blast through not only Lana but also um, also Kiawe. So you know, <laughs> W W right there, very good. We have a we have a, a change layout color from Star Champ. Star Champ says spooky purple, like the TCG psychic types. Okay, sure, yeah, I can try for that. That's, that's it's relatively close to like the default color. So here, let me see if I can. Let me see what I could do here. Like spooky purple, like TCG psychic types. Okay, I'll, I'll try for something um, to that effect. So we'll go back to default, and then we'll let's see. It would need to be like actually, yeah, that's, that's pretty close. Actually, <laughs> let me lower the contrast a little bit, maybe. Here, let's try. Honestly, yeah, the default's like really close to that color. Like, unless I'm crazy, I guess a little, maybe a little pinkier. How's that? <laughs> I know it's like pretty close to default, but I don't know. I feel like that's in that's in the ballpark, right? I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> that looks about right to me, though. Okay, cool. It's been a while since I looked at a, a psychic energy, so I don't I don't fully remember what the color is, but I think that's like a rough rough approximation. <laughs> hey there, Colores. How's it going? Oh, I've been playing. Uh, just speaking of Colores, I've been playing so much Pokemon Black and White these last couple days because I've been um. I've been slowly chipping away at my origin decks for, uh, you know, that I want to get together in Pokemon Home before uh, the Pokepocalypse happens uh, next year, presumably. Um, and so, yeah, I've, I, I've, I've literally, I've played through black and white in their entireties. Um, and now I'm, like, halfway through another playthrough of white. <laughs> um, the reason I have to play through it more than two times is because I need both versions of Tornadus and Thunderous and Landorus, but I already have the two um, from the first two playthroughs. Um, and yeah, uh, that's annoying. <laughs> it's really annoying. I gotta play through far enough to get uh, Thunderous and Tornadus a second time. Uh, so I can have the Therians and the non-Therians, because I'm insane. <laughs> so yeah, good stuff, good stuff. But yeah, thank you, Colores. Um, let's see, I think there's stuff down here. 
let's go take a peek. Nothing we need to catch in this area. Um, so yeah, no, no worries there. I guess I could just fight the trainers as well. Not a terrible idea. Um, let's see. Uh, Arcanine has answered today's question of the day. Uh, today's question of the day being, uh, what Pokemon merch that doesn't exist do you want to be made? Um, Arcanine says beanbags for a lot of Pokemon. I don't know. Claude Sire. Starla. I think there actually is a beanbag for Claude Sire, Arcanine. Uh, I think I remember seeing something to that effect on, uh, on Twitter the other day. I think it's like a Japan exclusive, but I'm pretty sure there's a giant, like, plushy, like, Claude Sire, like, pillow kind of situation. Um, so yeah, good stuff. Let's fight this lady. Uh, ooh, Starchamp says, uh, for question day, says Rage Candy Bar. Oh my god, I would buy a Rage Candy Bar so hard. It has, like, a Gyarados on the front. I would buy that in a heartbeat. Absolutely. Absolutely, I would. <laughs> there needs, honestly... There's a lot of, like, missed potential with that, I feel like. There's so many, like, food items in Pokemon that are, like, Pokemon-specific. What if they just made rare candies? Like, 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 a, like, food candy brand of, like, Pokemon-themed candies that look like they're, like, blue. You know, the blue wrapper or whatever. Um, and yeah, it's just got, like, a really good, like, Pokemon branding on it. I would buy them. I would buy them, for sure. <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't done that, honestly. Uh, Mabel says for question day says Burmy earrings. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, that'd be that'd be fun. That'd be fun. I bet you if you go on Etsy, you could probably you could probably find someone who's already made that. But um, yeah, like official official like you know Pokemon Pokemon company approved Burmy earrings. I'd be into that. I'd be into that. I'm not really into dangle earrings myself. Um, I have I have I just have like little rings. Um, but on the right person, Burmy earrings for sure. <laughs> that would be cool. Okay, um, we'll fight this guy. May as well fight all the trainers on the way. Um, we'll be a little bit over-leveled, but frankly, I'm okay with that for the Lurantis. <laughs> yes, I agree so, uh, I agree so hard with you, Starchamp. I want the Sprinklotad. I want the Sprinklotad. I would take up gardening if I had a Sprinklotad. <laughs> for sure. For sure. I mean, give us the Whelmer Pail and the Squirt Bottle and all those, too, but, like, Sprinklotad. Sprinklotad gang, rise up. <laughs> Okay, Ariel is just so fun to say. God, sprinkle tad, sprinkle tad. I don't know, it's fun. <laughs> uh, John says real Pokemon. Oh my god, <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> so jeez, Sachi. I'm not even gonna read that one. I'm not even gonna read that one. Won't do it. Nope, nope. <laughs> uh, Poison says I was just about to say the whale repel. Yeah, the whale repel would be nice, but the sprinkle tad's so fun to say though. So that's that's why that's one that's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate a good, like, you know, name pun. Well, well, more pale is fine. It's just, you know, it's just kind of simple, you know? <laughs> uh, Arcanine says, for question today, says, Pokemon Amiibo should be a thing. You know, honestly, when Amiibo first came out, I kind of, like, had a... I had that realization that if they made Pokemon Amiibo, it would be, like, infinite money for them. I'm actually really surprised they never did it. <laughs> Because, <laughs> like, imagine that. Like, oh, there's there's an amiibo for every single Pokemon. And they're $18 each or whatever it is. What, I think they're, what are they, $16? $16.99 these days? I can't remember what the new ones are going for right now. They used to be $12.99 and then they raised the price. Uh, maybe it's like $15.99 now that I think about it. I think that sounds right. Um, but yeah, $15.99 times 1017 <laughs> <laughs> like any of plus like all the forms and all that shit, they would make big big buku dollars. <laughs> It'd be absolutely insane if they did that. Um, maybe just like the manufacturing costs just wouldn't be worth it or something. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, it, it seems like it would make make bank. I'm surprised they never went with it. Uh, Voices says for question day, ice cube biker helmet. Oh, that would actually be really cute. <laughs> like the little, the little like square cube uh, bicycle helmet. That's, that's, that's adorable. That's adorable. Oh, I speaking of ice cube, I, I think I liked it on Twitter. I can't remember if I actually liked it or not. I did see it. I saw some art on Twitter the other day that made me like ice cube. It was like someone like made like a um, it was like paradox ice cube, but it was like a raptor, and so it like 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 a, like a you know like a dinosaur raptor. Um. And yeah, it was like actually really fucking cool. I think I did like it on Twitter. Y'all, y'all, y'all can check and see if I like that or not. <laughs> and follow me on Twitter. <laughs> I don't post a whole lot, but I, I like I I like and retweet memes sometimes. So you know, follow me on Twitter. <laughs> I guess. Uh, okay. Uh, this mill tank. Okay, we got the air cutter. Go for it. 
Uh, Laura says, for question today, says, I want a Piplup onesie. I, like, I can almost guarantee that's a thing, Laura. That has to be a thing. There's no way. Piplup's too pop, pop, uh, popular. There we go. Nailed it. Um, also, did it just, did it just, um, I think it just bite it. Actually, I gotta be care careful here. Hold on. Aerial Ace? I have Protect, so it's fine, but this better kill. <laughs> I don't want to have to worry about it. Ooh, it did not kill. Okay, that is unfortunate. Yeah, I'm gonna protect. <laughs> Don't hurt me. Good thing I have protect. Nice try, bucko. <laughs> okay, now we finish it off. I went with the aerial ace because I didn't. I knew that air cutter didn't have the the, the max uh, max accuracy. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Second sister, are you changing the Orochario art when you change the form, or is that pom pom art just the best Orochario art in general? The the form, so like the the bigger art will will change if I change the form, which I'm probably not going to. I like the pom pom form, so I'm probably gonna keep it in this in this in this form. But um, the the slot symbol will not change. The slot symbol will always stay the the red Orochario because it's just the default one. Okay, teeter dance. Um, I don't know. Do I want that? No, I don't. I don't. Um, but yeah, no, no, they did make the big Detective Pikachu amiibo, which, which I, I still don't really understand the logic of making it so massive, <laughs> especially considering it was for a 3DS game, so it, like, dwarfs the size of the actual console that it's for. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm just surprised they never actually went harder on that with the, with the amiibo. I bet you a Clef Key keychain is a thing on Etsy, too, I, if not, like, on the actual Pokemon website. I would, I would wager. I would wager. Okay. Uh, well, there's this guy. I guess I can fight. How's, what are my Pokemon looking like? Uh, HP wise, I think we're okay, right? Yeah, yeah, we're we're good. Let's let's put Star Power out front. Okay, there we are. Uh, Cycle Slash just toys to life uh, Pokemon game with every Pokemon, but you have to bite each one separately. Didn't they do that? Is that uh, Pokemon Rumble? I mean, like, I, I don't know if they were the toys were required for that game, but I'm pretty sure that was basically a thing. <laughs> Like they tried, I guess it just didn't do do very well, so they just scrapped it. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that was actually something they tried. <laughs> uh, Sachi says for question says for real this time, clothing based on Lee Vanny. Oh, the Lee Vanny outfit. Oh, that'd be so nice. <laughs> yeah, made by Lee Vanny. Oh, I like that a lot. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Oh, heck yeah, epic. <laughs> also, welcome in. Good to see you. Uh, Epic says lipsticks based on different Pokemon with lips. Wobbuffet, Bruxer, Smoochum. I would buy it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, I would. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, you, you, you found the you found the picture on Twitter I was talking about, Star Champ? Yeah, like Glacial Rex. Yeah, super, super. I like, see, a version of Ice Cube I, I approve of. Very cool. Yeah, that's valid, Arcanine. That's valid. Frankly, I've been thinking about dropping it myself. The only reason that I still like really use it is because I I use it for like game news. Um, it's like a like you know whenever I, whenever like Capcom or, or Nintendo or whoever like drops like info, a lot of the times they drop it on Twitter, and I, I do like to be aware of that stuff. So like that's mostly why I use Twitter is just so I can like keep the keep tabs on like what's going on with video game stuff. But yeah, no, it is really frustrating because you get a lot of shit on there. Well, garbage that I don't really care to deal with. <laughs> so yeah, I can respect that. Uh, Poison says, uh, for question today, says, assault vest, bulletproof vest. Uh, I mean, honestly, like, just all of the... I would... Uh, you know what would be really cool, actually? Just little tiny statues or, like, figurines of, of like, all, all the items. Like, there are parts of Pokemon, um, like, as far as merchandise goes, that I feel like are totally, like, being squandered. Like, I would 100% buy, like, if they made, like, a figurine set of, like, just a bunch of, like, major item, like, held items from Pokemon. And they were just like, yeah, little collectible figurines. I would buy the shit out of those. <laughs> like, yeah, to have, like, a tiny little Rocky helmet, little assault vest, little, uh, I don't know, the choice scarf, you know, like, just all of those. It would be amazing. <laughs> It'd just be really cute and fun. Okay, so I think there's a couple more trainers over here we could fight too. Yeah, these these two. Um, let's do. Yep, star used the front. We're good. Oh, nose past compass. That's that. That'd be great. That'd be great, John Bill. 
Yeah, exactly, Poison. Yeah, Twitter's good for fandoms, but beyond that, it's le uh, less than great, yeah. No, that's another thing I do enjoy seeing on there, is, like, I do see a lot of really good art, i.e. that ice cube art I found on there. Um, a lot of, a lot of good art on Twitter, um, but, yeah. Because <laughs> when Tumblr freaking died a few years ago, or, I know it didn't die, die, but y'all you know what I mean. When it, when it got, like, all shitty on Tumblr, everyone came to Twitter, so that's where all the good art is now. <laughs> Good stuff. Ooh, yeah, Sableye Eyeshadow. That would be beautiful, Poison. I love that. I love that. <laughs> All right, very good. Uh, Cycle Sisters, oh, that reminds me, did a nose pass raid earlier. Why is it pure rock? I mean, would you would you give it, like, what, steel? Like, uh, like, Probo Pass has? Or what would you give it, Psycho Sausage? I'm curious. Yeah, I'm never gonna get used to that either, Arcanine. It, it just, it, it doesn't roll off the tongue well at all. It, it sounds like a, it sounds like what like an edgy 14 year old would name a website, you know? I'm just, yeah, I'm never gonna call it that either. <laughs> I just can't get behind that. I, I, sometimes I, I, I do I do swap between the two, but yeah, it's also very, it's just very like awkward sounding. I don't like it. Very good. You're crushing it, star power. Uh, Boy says, yeah, now people are going back to Tumblr because of how shitty Twitter's become. Oh, I know, it feels bad. Feels bad, feels bad. I wish that the, there's like a bunch of those like Twitter alternatives that are going around right now. I have, um, I do have the Blue Sky. Um, and I have, I, I looked into some of the others. I haven't committed to any of them though. Um, I wish they were a little more accessible so people could just jump in on them. Um, a lot of them are like, oh, you have to, like, get on a list or whatever. Or you have to, like, get invited by someone who's already there. And it's like, I would really love if there was just one that people could just jump in on and just not have to worry about all the, you know, the bullshit to, like, get there. <laughs> I know it, like, technically makes it, like, better for their servers and, like, safer for the, you know, general user or whatever to, like, avoid bots and all that stuff. But, like... The inaccessibility, I think, is, like, part of the big reason why, like, a lot of people haven't been able to migrate from Twitter yet. <laughs> Feels kind of bad. But all that aside, I don't want to get into all that garbage because that's, uh, that's annoying. <laughs> that, that stuff is annoying. That whole concept, that whole, uh, issue is, uh, frustrating. Um, but okay, so here we are. Um, definitely don't want to use star power out front. That's for certain. Um, Tim can probably lead us for now. Um... But yeah, I think it's time to jump in and hopefully not get totally bodied by Mallow's, uh, Mallow's trial. That would be good. Um, also, I need to open my stream manager because I forgot again. Nice. Um, let's see. Uh, do, oh, God, I still hate that. Uh, they, they still have they have that freaking the stories now on, tw on Twitch. It throws me off. <laughs> go away. I don't want to see this ad. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Now we're good. I just need to be able to see what where our where our time is at. Okay, into the trial we go. Let's do it. <laughs> Poison says we need to go back to forums. Yo, yo, go in, uh, go, go in, go and friend me on Gaia Online, everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 what we need. That's what we need to bring back. Everybody, go back to Gaia Online. Them, them's were the days. <laughs> See, I, you know what's funny is like I know like a lot of the people in my chat are kind of younger, so they're not gonna have any idea what I'm talking about. But the ones who are the ones who are uh, my age, y'all y'all probably know, y'all probably know. <laughs> Yo AOL, hell yeah, yeah. Hit me up on AOL Messenger. Hit me hit me up on uh, on MSN Messenger, like the pre Skype days. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Uh, I can't do it. I can't do it. It's too sad. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. I, I can never remember which which version is which. Cause I know that the the trial's different between Ultra and then this version. So yeah, let's see which which is this one. This is one where we just like walk up to things. We don't need to worry about too much. Uh, let's see. Let me talk to her again. Uh, Laura says I feel old. I'm not even old. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I mean. I, I feel like I'm not old either, but I don't know. Then again, then, then, then I hear, like, yesterday we were, uh, yesterday's question of the day was asking about, like, uh, oh, like, your earliest Pokemon memories. 
and uh, you know, absolutely no shade to anyone's answers. I appreciated all of them. I thought they were great. But so I remember someone said like, "Oh, I saw the anime, an episode of the anime with Helioptile in it." And I was just like, "That's your earliest Pokemon memory, from Pokemon that came out in 2013." Oof! I feel old. <laughs> oh, it feels bad. Okay, sorry. What 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 are you saying, Mallet? Gotta find four ingredients: Mago, Tiny Mushroom, Revival. Okay, got it, got it. Do I? I don't think I do. I need Stoutland for that. I don't think I do. Hold on, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. You guys aren't even in my MySpace top eight. I can't associate with UTPH. I know. Yeah, it's cringe. Cringe. Tom's in my top eight though. Tom's definitely in my top eight. <laughs> Uh, Star says, the fun bit of trivia about me, I never had friends on MSN Messenger. The only reason I used it was for the pr Professor Oak chatbot. Nice. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. I used to use MSN Messenger a lot when I was, God, I must have been in middle school at the time. Um, it was definitely something I, uh, I, I did a lot of chatting. I, but my main thing when I was young was Gaia, though. I was on Gaia online, like, all day, every day when I was a, you know, like, preteen. Like, honestly, for a good while after that, too, I don't think I stopped really, like, using it until... God, I must have been, like, 14, maybe? 15? Something like that? <laughs> yeah, I used it for a long time. And it was it was di it was already dead by the time I stopped using it. So and it's still it's still around. I pop in every one every once in a while just to see what it's like, and it's it's pretty cringe. But you know, <laughs> I think it always kind of was, so that's acceptable. Uh, Poison says, "Now I feel old. I'm not even my in my twenties yet." Oh, y'all are just little babies, huh? <laughs> hey, Mago Berry, very good. Y'all are all just a bunch of little babies. Oh yeah, Neopets. Oh my god. I, I remember, I just never got into Neopets. Uh, Neopets was definitely like a thing that all my friends were into, but it was just, I was just like, I'd rather just play Pokemon. <laughs> That's kind of how I was. The other one that, that a lot of my friends were into back then was uh, RuneScape, like OG RuneScape. Um, yeah, also something I never got into. Yeah, I was, I was too busy with my, with my niche shit. <laughs> Ooh, Tamagotchi. I never got into Tamagotchi either, somehow. Despite being a massive Pokemon and Digimon fan, I still somehow never got into uh, Tamagotchi. I don't know how that works. We got the Revival Herb, perfect. But we're gonna get attacked, okay, that's fine. Uh, Star says, okay, but you could pet, brush, and play with Neopets long before Pokemon even got close. I mean, that's true. You know, it's, it's so funny that, um, you know, you had all these, like, Pokemon likes back in the, back in the 2000s between, like, Neopets and Digimon and, uh, you know, all, all the other ones that, that, that came out. Um, and yet, uh, and yet, um, Pokemon later goes on to, like, do a lot of the shit that those things did. Uh, you know, like, copying them, which is interesting. I remember when Mega Evolution was first announced, I was like, yo, they actually just had their Pokemon Digivolve. <laughs> like, like, straight up. They, they were just like, yo... What if, what if we just made Pokemon Digivolve to Megaform? And it's just like, yo, you can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that. That's, that's illegal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I remember being deeply amused by that. Uh, yeah, very good, very good. Oh, I love Shory. Shory used the little, like, pterodactyl dragon boy, right, Sarchamp? The, he's, I think, I mean, I know they came in different colors, but I think his default was purple. He has, like, a spike on his head, like Charmeleon. I think, and that's, that's Shoryu, right? Oh, God, it's been so long since I thought about these guys. There was, like, Shoryu and, like, Scorpio was the other dragon guy, like, like the chunky lizard boy. Can't remember. Can't remember the rest. There's some, aw, oh, Neopets. That's, that's really nostalgic. I had a bunch of the toys from, like, McDonald's and stuff. Uh, X defense is not what I need. Toru is literally based on you. Is it really? Oh, interesting. <laughs> Fun. Okay, over here. Yeah, I want to be looking for those pseudo wudo, but that's not a thing. Uh, oh, actually, don't I need that? Hold on, let me. I break.
Okay, yeah, C. Miracle C. That's what I need. Okay, it's perfect. I need one more thing. I think this is the part that always stumps me, because I can never remember exactly what I need. One last ingredient left. Okay. What what was it? What was it? Just make sure I know what I'm what I'm up to here. I'll take this. Uh, Star says, uh, "Yeah, my I had Scorpio, not Scorpio. Yeah, that that's what it was. Uh, my my sis Liz had Shoryu, and Shoryu's Alpha Alpha Sprite was just a recolored and slightly changed view. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's great. Okay, Mala, what's good? Mago Berry. Okay, the tiny is a tiny mushroom. We still need." Where do I get the tiny mushroom? I do not remember. Wait, hold on. This is mushrooms right here. Tiny mushroom. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Easy peasy. Oh, the big mushrooms attacked. Oh, no. <laughs> Ooh, we got the Parasect. Very good. Shaders are not a fan of how that Pokemon is designed, but that's okay. Okay, get him with the aerial ace. Okay. Finish it off. <laughs> very good, very good. Oh no, I spilled my coffee! No! It was only a little bit, so it's fine, but I'm annoyed now. <laughs> I am bothered. Uh, Arcanist says, what's your take on the trolley problem? Well, I don't... Define trolley problem. I don't... I'm not... I'm not, I'm not even sure what you're talking about, Arcanine. <laughs> if I'm being honest. Uh, assurance? Um... Yeah, I, I will take that over pursuit. That's fine. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, alright. So, I think, um... As soon as we get back to the front, I think it, like bumps us right into the the, the ending portion. Um, so I need to make sure that we're good and ready for Lorantis. Let me, let's, let's heal up, make sure we're all set. Who do I want to lead with against this thing? I guess Oricorio is probably our strongest bet. I guess. I know Tim, Tim is decent for it because it four times resists grass, but... I don't know if I necessarily want to bank on Noibat being able to just, like, overwhelm the Lorantis. So, yeah, I think I think we'll go with Twinkle Toes out front. I think. Nope, I don't know what that is, Arcanine. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't even know what it is. Like, do you mean, like, trolley? Like a like a cart? Because, like, we don't even use that word here in, in the States. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't, I, yeah, I don't know. Um, okay, so here we go. They're off. Hey, Lids. Great. Now that you have all the ingredients, we just need... Sorry to, er, sorry to keep you waiting. How are you, Mallow? Yay. Oh, it's so... these, po these trainers are so, like, uh, pleasing to see on screen together because of their, like, color palettes, m like, meshing really, really well. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. It's really, really nice. Uh, her name is Twinkle Toes. Oh, my, my heart, I love her. I know, yeah, it's so cute. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm so confused. I'm so... Oh, are y'all are talking about that, like, meme or whatever with, like, the, the, the people tied on the tracks on the train and all that? Is that what y'all are talking about? I don't... I mean, I'm aware of that. I don't know. Is that is that what y'all are talking about? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm so confused. Okay, yeah, no, I've, I've, I've seen it, yeah. I've, st I've seen that meme before, yeah. What about it? <laughs> I bought a thick club and a rare bone. And I brought some fresh water and the usual rocky helmet. Thanks, Sana. Thanks, Kiale. Now we need. Now we've got everything we need. You're up next, Lids. We're going to kick up a storm and lure out the totem Pokemon of Lush Jungle. Oh yeah, we get to do the part that's definitely not suggestive at all, and that they definitely didn't feel the need to change in the sequel because they realized their mistake. <laughs> Good stuff. The aroma of this tasty dish will draw the totem Pokemon right to us. Ready to start cooking? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, Lana. Flip that rocky helmet over and let's pour that fresh water into it. Here you are. Then in go the Mago Berry and the Tiny Mushroom and Revival Herb and Miracle Seed. Kiawe, let us use that thick club and rare bone for a minute. Here you are. 
Okay, lids, grab the thick club in the rear bone and pulp it into the and and pound it into the pulp. Okay. Never mind me. Crush it. Grind it. I know, yeah, it's really it's really goofy. Turn it into goo. Mallow is excited about goo, and I get to go to prison. Good stuff. Unique aroma begins to waft around the air. All right, here we go. After now that we've very wholesomely, uh, wholesomely created a delicious meal. <laughs> Lawrence's. Very good. All right, here we go. I am nervous. I am a little nervous. I know, yeah, Larynx is cute. It's cute. It always throws me it's not a bug type, but yeah. <laughs> it's nice. Okay, so... I could drop Toxic on it. For good measure. Not a terrible idea. It doesn't have, like, an ability or anything that, like, stops me from doing that, right? I just forget what it's got going on. What is Lurantis' ability? I feel like, I feel like I want to know that. I know it has, like, an item. It has, like, a power herb, I think. So it gets, like, a free... It gets e exactly one free solar blade. What is Leaf Guard? Oh, wait. Hold on. I might not be able to toxic. Leaf Guard. During harsh sunlight, Leaf Guard prevents Pokemon from being affected by non-volatile status conditions. Like, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so if I'm gonna do it, I need to do it before the sun's up. <laughs> so now is a good time. Yeah, I'm gonna toxic. Okay, got a little damage down. And we didn't do a whole lot of damage to it, too, so it should get the worst ally, which I think is... Okay, it's a Trombi. I think the good ally is Cast Form? I think? Because it's a Sunsetter for her? I think that's what it is. Um, I think I will go ahead and... I think I will Toxic you as well. Zorcario can eat hits pretty well here. We, we got crit by the Razor Leaf. Feels kind of bad. We'll protect next turn. Hey, Super oh, that's annoying. That's a little annoying. I know, yeah, the, the, the Lid's original strategy, Toxic Salt. I know, but it's effective, okay? Especially in this in these freaking totem battles that are horrifying. <laughs> I wish I had a full restore right now. That'd be nice. Um, oh, should I risk the protect? I feel like I don't want to, because uh, I'll get smacked around if I do. I'll just heal, and then I'll protect. And hopefully not hit myself in confusion. <laughs> that would be nice. Okay, yeah, so it gets its free, it's gonna get its free power herb, uh, yeah, solar blade. It's okay, we resist it. Oh god, that's spooky. Man, what a cool animation, god damn. We, we took it pretty, pretty well. Oh, why do you have rock blast? That's annoying. Okay. Okay, chill. Okay, chill. Are you serious? Are you serious? Come on! <laughs> okay, definitely gonna have to heal on this one. Why do you have Rock Blast, frickin' Trumby? Get out of here. Okay, I gotta- I have to heal again. I can't risk a- I can't risk a being confused. Can't do it. Okay, synthesis. That's a little annoying, but I would I would prefer that, frankly. I would prefer I would prefer that to like getting smacked this turn. Okay, please only hit me like once. You're gonna hit me. You're gonna hit me five times again, aren't you? You piece of shit. I hate you. Okay, four. Better better I suppose. <laughs> oh man. Um, can I? Should I switch? What's the game plan here? 
I just don't have great coverage like all around for this scenario. I guess I could go into Furret, but I can also just heal stall while I wait for them to die to poison. So, you know, that's a valid strategy. Okay, let's, uh, let's Super Potion this turn. That should be, that should be enough? Yeah, yeah, that should be enough. Cool. Super Potion! Yeah, I'm gonna heal stall up. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I gotta do what I gotta do, okay? Don't judge me, chat. Hey, Twinkle Toes loves me very much. Unfortunately, we're gonna get Rock Blasted again. And crit, fuck you. Aw, oh, don't hit me five times. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, this Trumpeak is getting my, uh, getting, getting my goat here. Okay. The, the Toxic is doing well, which is good. <laughs> Yeah, just, yeah, I don't. I honestly don't mind if the if the Lurantis, um keeps going back onto full health because that Toxic's just gonna keep stronger and stronger. It's not doing anything about it. So um, I just want Trumbeak to go down at this point, honestly, because these Rock Blasts are annoying. I'm still confused too. I have to keep that in mind. Um, I would normally risk a, an attack here, but it's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it. I just need that Trumbeak to stop smacking me with rock. Now, all right, Synthesis, do your thing, do your thing. Oh, don't screech me. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. That's like two stages, right? Oh, man, that sucks. Can you, can you go down to poison here, please? Yes, okay, perfect. Now, Lurantis is gonna call for help again. This time, I think it is gonna be the uh, cast form. Yeah. That has a free, free, I think it's gonna, it probably, I think it has sunny day, so it's probably gonna do that. Um, do I, do I dare risk going for an attack here? I don't think Casper can hit me with anything major. I'm just gonna synthesis anyway. We're probably fine. Hopefully I can break through confusion. I'd love to actually get it hit in. Perfect. Yes, very good. I think this this uh, knocks out Lurantis' turn. We got a crit, hell yeah. Yeah, it goes for a sunny day, but that's not gonna be a big deal anymore. Very nice, very nice, very nice. I think Toxic will finish off the Lurantis and then we are golden. Excellent, ha <laughs> ha. I've learned my lesson with this fight. I always try and like Oonga Boonga through this fight in the past, not anymore. This time we got it locked and loaded. I knew exactly what I was doing. Very nice, I am pleased. We just gotta finish this, uh, finish off this cast form. Come on, Twinkle Toes, break through, you got this. Beautiful. <laughs> Very nice. No, I don't I don't think so. I think I'm just getting lucky. I think. Maybe? And then again, I guess I don't know for sure, so I shouldn't say it so confidently. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure on that cycle, so that's a good question. Yeah, I saw that on Twitter uh, this morning, Star Champ. Yeah, that is kind of wild. Yeah, uh, I guess because yeah, they wanted to be able to like give uh, Japan the same games, but they were worried about like ratings and stuff like that. So yeah, kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. Yes, very good. Oh my God, we got the we got Mallow's trial uh, knocked out real easy actually, and, and we even got some time to spare, which is really good. It's not even been an hour yet. We can uh, we can start making our way towards Olivia and. Uh, I don't know, maybe even get to Ula Ula Island if things go, like, really well. We'll see. We shall see. We shall see. But yes, very good. We get the Grass EMZ. I'll go ahead and add that to the layout. Um, the progress is going good. Now that, we're, now that I'm back from, uh, from you know, being away for a little while, we're, we're making really good progress. <laughs> it feels nice. Yeah, there we go. We got the Grass EMZ. Excellent. Oh, I, lo I love uh, when we do the uh, Lola playthroughs because the, the layout is so pleasing to look at with the Z crystals on it. <laughs> just like really symmetrical, really colorful. Just, it's very pleasant. Yes, 
Very good. I will take the nest balls. Thank you very much. Uh, Arcanine says, help, the snow is taking over Iceland. It's so cold outside. I, you know, I, I honestly, I, I would love some snow. I don't get snow very often where I'm at. Um, every now and again, but it's usually not particularly thick snow either. But sorry if it's a little overwhelming for you, Arcanine. <laughs> Okay, very good. I don't think there's anything we need in the jungle here or anything like that. So yeah, we we can uh, we can proceed to um, making our way towards Olivia. Though I think we also have to fight Plumeria on the way to, on the way to her, if I recall correctly. So gotta make sure we're all good and ready for that too. Voice says, "Who are you? You're not used to you not complaining about Sun and Moon. No, I have I have nice things to say about Alola every once in a while. <laughs> and besides, it's Ultra that I usually complain about." Sun and Moon has its problems too, but I don't know. You know, it's um, it's fine. I like Alola. I like Gen Seven. Gen Seven's nice. It's you know, it's not my favorite or anything, but it's nice. <laughs> I know, yeah, it's it's pretty good stuff. That that scene is actually genuinely pretty funny. Um, I remember being it very flavorful. Ha <laughs> ha, flavorful. Ha <laughs> ha, because they're tasting a flavor. Ha <laughs> ha, very nice. <laughs> Ooh, very nice, John Bell. Very nice, very nice. And I wouldn't mind. I would mind a little bit of snow. I haven't gotten to like really go and enjoy snow, like the the, the prettiness of it, in a little while. So that the, I do, I would enjoy just being able to look out my window at some snow for a little bit. That'd be cool. But it's 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 too early in the year. Uh, it, for, if it does snow, um, I've noticed where I live, it doesn't actually snow until like around like January, February, um, where I'm at. If if it snows at all. Um. What's all, what's all down here again? I forget. Oh, wait, I think it's just I think this just like loops back around to like yeah the Pokemon Center. Okay, yeah, I see it on the map. So yeah, at this point we can just go to we just go south. Oh no, that's right. We got to go back to the city. I remember now. Yeah, we we actually I think I will take the shortcut. Um, yeah, we got to go back to the city and meet up with um. Oh wait, I have Charizard now. I don't need to do that. <laughs> I can just fly. Um. Yeah, we just gotta go back to here, and now we can go to the right side of Hia Hia City. Very good. I know, Epic, it feels bad. I like Plumeria's design a lot. Like, I actually think she's amazing. Um, but it sucks that she doesn't do a whole lot in this game. It's a shame. She, she's kind of, like, also the only... I mean, you know, go figure. She's the only admin, quote-unquote. Like, you know, the admin role for Team Skull. She's the only one, and yeah, she's, like, like woefully underutilized. It's quite strange. Quite strange. You live in Australia, right, Poison? So yeah, I guess that, that checks out for why you wouldn't get a whole lot of snow. Does it? How often does it snow there, like, at all? <laughs> like, not much, right? It's pretty close to the equator, I think. All right, oh, hi, Lily. Go, Nubby. Or wait, hold on, what's my, what's my Lily voice? I, I, go, oh, I cannot remember my Lily voice. I do it all the time. Go, Nubby. Use, use Splash. I think that's what it is. <laughs> I figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> I was acting just like I was Lids. You always seem to end up getting hurt, Nubby. I never really liked Pokemon trainers or thought that I would want to be one myself. But when I see Lids and Hal, it's like they had thrown open some door that I always thought was closed. They stride straight through into the future. It seems so amazing somehow. Yay, she likes me. <laughs> I see very certain areas. I see. Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, uh, I, I will say I've always heard. Uh, is it? You can confirm if this is true for me or not. Um, is it true that it's like summer during like December, like cr like Christmas time for for y'all there? Is that is that actually true? <laughs> I've I've heard that as you know being a thing, but I never was like I've never verified it. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's so that's so bizarre just, you know, from the perspective of, you know, a ignorant American. <laughs> um, yeah, wild. So yeah, like it's like is is there like Christmas traditions that are all like very summery, like like oh like like grilling grilling stuff on the grill or anything like that? Like what's a, what's a Christmas tradition that like seems like it's like exclusive to like summer? If there is any, I'm curious. <laughs> I want to learn about Australia. Okay. 
Up we go. Yeah, like go to the beach. Yeah, very good. Very good. Makes sense. I mean, it makes sense if it's summer there. It's just so it's so, so juxtaposed to like, you know, most of the world associates, uh, you know, Christmas time with, uh, you know, snow and, you know, uh, bundled up clothes and, you know, all that sort of thing. <laughs> Oh yeah, it makes sense. Makes are the beaches? The beaches are pro probably pretty loaded around that time, I imagine. If it's if it's anything like people shopping uh, during Christmas in the in the states, I imagine it would be like an absolute clusterfuck. <laughs> yeah, very good, very good. Also, Professor Burnett. I've seen Professor Burnett a lot lately, but not because I've been playing Sun and Moon. I actually played through Pokemon Dream Radar like three times through. <laughs> <laughs> for for uh, living deck stuff, um, so yeah, that's fun. <laughs> that's fun. I see. I've seen Professor Burnett like pre tan <laughs> a lot lately. But yeah, it's very good. We just kind of mashing through. They got a lot to say here, so I'm just I'm just moving through. We've we've been through Alola a time or two at this point. Organize that like Iceland because we're so few, around three hundred thousand people. Um. Is uh, out of curiosity, Arcanine, um, does uh in in Iceland is it like I I know y'all probably speak Icelandic most of the time, but like it, like what would you say like the proportion of people who know English in Iceland is? I'm curious. Okay. Oh, that's, that's right. I need to talk to Lily. I remember. Epic says uh, Burnett looks like she would do yoga while performing experiments. I know, right? Yeah, she's so casual in this game. It's kind of wild. Although, if you look, if you look carefully, you can see like her jacket that she has around her waist. It looks like it's like maybe the same one she's wearing in um in uh in Dream Radar. Maybe I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. Kind of hard to tell. She definitely looks a lot different, like visually and like vibes wise, to how she looked in that game. She's still pretty casual in Dream Radar, but yeah, it's definitely like a different different energy atmosphere kind of situation and I, I think I can talk to Kukui hello <laughs> something like that yeah very good we are off to meet up with Olivia I always forget how, how much they have uh, between here and actually getting a fighter too because you have to like go all the way to uh you have to go all the way through Diglett's tunnel, all the way to her town, and then she's like, "Oh, I'm overdoing something else, so like you gotta come find me." All the way across the coastland or whatever. <laughs> Ooh, someone someone shot the horn player. <laughs> no. Hey, Lid, so you made it through all three captains' trials, yeah? Then you should go meet Kahuna Olivia. She lives down past Diggle's Tunnel. Diggle's Tunnel is, let's see, from here it's kind of near the Pokemon Center. It's easy to walk right past it, though, so keep your eyes peeled. Now it's Malasada time for me. Oh, how. You're such a, a lovable, a lovable glutton. Okay. What is, what is the status of my Pokemon? They're healed, right? Yeah, we're good. We're good. A uh, cycle such as the Burnett situation is so weird. It's like if you're playing the Gen 10 games, the professor's like, hey, here's my BF, and it's Todd for Pokemon Staff, but he's black now. <laughs> I mean, I don't get it. I don't think it's, like, that extreme. She, I think she's still white. Like, to be clear, she's still white. She's just tan because she's been spending a lot of time in the sun. <laughs> Um, but yeah, she's, she's very much, she's very much still a white girl. Cause like, if you, for those of you who've seen her in Dream Radar, she's pasty as hell. She's like actually like hella fucking white. <laughs> um, so yeah, like she's definitely got a crazy tan. Uh, Arcanist says, I heard this from an English teacher that pretty much, uh, everyone in Iceland knows English, um, uh, more, more than French. Oh, I see. Interesting. That's, that's, that is really interesting. Nah, I think Kukui's a little darker skinned, Psycho Sausage. I, I would say so. I would say so. Oh, hey, NB, welcome in. I know, yeah, Olivia's great. Olivia's fantastic. I really do enjoy her quite a bit. 
I, I mean, I, I know I say this like every time we play Alola, but it's it's worth reiterating that I think her whole shtick is hilarious. But it's like, oh, I'm Olivia. I can't get a man for some reason, despite being like drop dead gorgeous. And it's like, how in the world does that work? Look at this woman. Are you serious? <laughs> That's absurd. Uh, so yeah, funny, funny trope for sure. Um, do I have repels? That would actually be really nice. If I don't, I should go get some. I have, I have one. Okay. Um, why don't we go back and grab some real fast? That'd be nice, just so we can get through Diglett's tunnel. Lickety split. Okay, let's stop here. There we go. Yeah, it could be her personality. That's probably like what they're going for, Laura. I agree, but it's just you know, it's just a, it's just a funny, it's a funny juxtapose, you know. <laughs> okay, ten super repels ought to get us through, no problem. All right, let's let's bounce. You know, she has a, yeah, she does have a decent personality. I think they're they're kind of playing her like like maybe she's just kind of awkward around like men or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, she definitely seems very like on top of the world like when you talk to her. But I wonder if like maybe like she like if she's around a, a, a guy who she's like potentially interested in, maybe she becomes like a klutz or something. I don't know. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it. I don't know how she is in the anime. I know that she. I guess spoilers for Sun and Moon anime. I hear, she, I hear she, like, winds up dating Brock in the anime, which is kind of wild. Um, but, yeah, no, um, I wonder if she gets all, like, like, you know, oh, like, awkward and, you know, goofy. <laughs> it could be really interesting characterization for her. Okay, uh, Super Repel, please. Run up over yonder. I mean, I guess the Ultra Recon Squad's not going to be here in this one. <laughs> yeah, very good. Oh, that makes sense, Arcanine. That makes sense. Uh, Star says she's pretty. Uh, that's why she can't get a guy, because every guy she's interested in would be too nervous to approach her. Oh, is that is that the angle you think it is? Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Like, she's too she's too beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that, that's funny. The Poison says because she really wants women. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's go with that. I like that. <laughs> Yeah, supposedly. I only I only read about it. I don't know for sure. I've never seen the Sun and Moon anime, so I don't know that that's like 100% true, but that's what I heard, and I don't think anyone had a reason to lie to me, so yeah, I, I think that's a thing. And they're both rock users, or at least, you know. Brock used to be a rock user. He's not really so much in the... Uh, hold on, is this right? This doesn't look great. This looks like it's, it's a waste of my time, and I don't want to fight that guy. Let me just try going... That's where I came from. Okay, this way then. Okay. And then yeah, here we go. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Every every man she likes is just gay. That's the re that would be a pretty funny, pretty pretty funny like comedic bit. <laughs> it's just every single person she tries for is like either taken or gay. <laughs> that's that's funny characterization. Oh, you think that's what it is? Yeah, I guess I guess I could kind of see that angle, Epic. Honestly, yeah, the idea that like it's not that it's not that she's like awkward, but rather that she's too blunt, <laughs> and it just like puts everyone off. Yeah, that, 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 I could see that. I could see that. <laughs> yeah, straight people in my Pokemon game, I could never. <laughs> just it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't track at all. <laughs> Hey, very good. Man, this Oricario kind of kicks ass, though. I really do enjoy this Oricario. Hopefully I'm not jinxing anything by saying that, but... Yeah, it's a good Pokemon. This, it's surprisingly good for, like, one, how early you get it, and two, how it, like, you know, it's just a mid, you know, non-evolving Mon that just kind of is exists. But it's actually surprisingly decent. Poison says, show me a single straight character in Paldea. I'll be waiting. Um, maybe Larry... 
But even then, I don't know if he would even be interested in women, to be honest. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I don't, I, I, I don't think there would be any. I think Larry, I think Larry is too, too busy with work to, like, have a, <laughs> to have a wife. <laughs> okay, here we are, Route 9. Ooh, can I skip you? I'm gonna skip you, haha. -ha. <laughs> That's quite, quite literally a fuck the police moment. <laughs> Don't feel like fighting you. Later. Uh, point since I headcanon him as asexual. Yeah, no, it makes it makes a lot of sense that he just like yeah, he just he's too busy. I like the idea that he's not necessarily asexual, but rather he just doesn't have time. <laughs> he's he's too he's too stressed with work to like worry about like relationships and you know <laughs> and like sex and stuff. Oh, it's funny. Ooh, clothing shop. Let's go. Give me programmer socks. You have them, right? Surely. Surely you're not gonna make me wait longer. I mean, these are cute, but no, I don't want the sporty. No, they don't have them. Grr. There's one of the, one of the shops definitely. Oh, actually the capris are kind of cute though. Oh, it's kind of cute though. Oh, I kind of like it. How have I never noticed these capris before? This is really cute. Oh, I might actually, I might actually, I usually, I usually stay in the shorts, but to be honest though, this is kind of stylish. I kind of like, I like it with the long socks. I, I guess I'll take it for now until like, until I can get my, my stripey socks. Yeah, I'm gonna buy those. <laughs> that looks stylish as hell. Okay, what, what shirts do you have? I guess since I'm since I'm mixing things up here, anyways. Oh, can I get my shirt? Oh no, they don't have the they don't have the tank top version. I was gonna say I want the stripy the the my avatar shirt, the stripy black and gray. But no, this won't work. This won't work. Sad sad panda. Ooh, they got the ruffle top though. That's kind of nice, but I feel like it doesn't look as good. Mm. I don't know. I'm being picky. I'm being picky, chat. <laughs> Nah. No, I think I like the Gotha Tail Top, honestly. This is, oh my god, that's just, that looks silly. <laughs> no, no, no. Not about that life. Ooh, we got the striped ruffle? Ooh. Ooh, though. I mean, if it had the black, the black sleeves, I'd actually probably buy that. Yeah. And if that, honestly, like, legit, if that had the black sleeves, I would buy it. The white, the white sleeves are kind of throwing me off. It doesn't look right. It doesn't. It doesn't go with my aesthetic as well. So yeah, we'll, we'll we'll stick to the Gothitelle top, I think. Uh, messenger. Ooh, messenger bags. Oh, but no, I need to keep the watermelon purse. I like the watermelon purse. Sand, ooh, sand. Ooh, ooh, that's actually not bad though. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Oh, the black doesn't look good. It, it needs the it needs the white to complement it, I think. I can't get rid of the hat poison. It's against the rules. Um, chicken hat, whole game, very important. <laughs> very important. I'll, I'll look at I'll look at caps though, but I probably won't buy any. Cause none of these are chicken hat. <laughs> yeah, nope. These hats are all cringe. Uh, not a single one of them is a chicken hat. Oh, I forgot to change. Oh, dang it. Okay, hold on. <laughs> well, I bought it though. But we'll change real quick. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, I'm trying to figure out what the best way to do it would be. Well, I got the, I have the the watermelon bag. The watermelon bag ba balances it out. I could maybe get some like red stripey socks, or not stripey socks. Uh, red, red, uh, red thigh highs. Yeah, I think they were back at the other place, right? Maybe that would look nice. Swap back to black tank. Mm, what do y'all think? Gothitelle tank or black tank? I think Gothitelle tank's better. I think. I think it is. Yeah, this looks nice. Let me see if I can go get the red socks. Cause I agree. I actually agree that Ep with Epic that it needs a little bit more red. I can maybe do shoes too. 
Hold on. <laughs> we're taking a detour, chat. We're taking we're taking a, a fashion detour. I hope you don't mind. I think it was he he a city that had the long socks. So I need to go I need to go check. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I I I've actually always wanted to play those games. I just never got around to uh picking it up. I I saw that there was like a Switch version. I heard it was the Switch version kind of sucked, but um in any case. <laughs> uh, is it here? Where is the clothing shop? It's around here somewhere. A very important side quest. I agree. Here it is. And um, someone should look up for me where the stripey socks are at, though, because I actually do really want them. They're my favorite. Okay. Wait, wait. Oh, this is the. Oh no, this isn't the right place. Oh shit! I don't know where. Where would it be? This is, they're not here. Then that. Where are they then? Would they be? Were they in the fur? Were they in the the big town? Ha ha what's it called? Hakulani? I'll, ha no. What is it? What's the town? How? The big, the starting town, the big one, where the school is. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> Howley? Howley City? Is that it? I think that's it. Yes, Howley. Okay, cool. <laughs> that threw me off. Hold on. I need to go back here, I guess. I can't think of where, there, where else there is clothing stores. I'm on the quest for red socks. like over here somewhere like here maybe okay that's the salon oh here we go here we go perfect uh Starsis does it uh i mean maybe i can't stress enough that it uh if you ever have plans on completing it do not get the original ds version there are some things that you can't get without linking between two systems oh i see interesting 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 well, i will look into it eventually okay y'all have the socks Ooh, yeah i think this is it over the knee socks yeah and yeah, the red show me red Ooh. what do you think chat that's kind of stylish though that's kind of stylish though i kind of like it hmm i'll buy it and they don't sell shoes here i think i like the red socks honestly yeah, we, I think I'm going to go with it. It's got good color balance, you know? Until I get my until I get my uh, my stripey socks, I think this looks good. Yeah. Yeah. It it balances out a little bit better. Maybe the yellow on the watermelon bag is kind of throwing things off a little bit, but to be honest, like I mean, it's such a cute bag. I want this bag for real though. <laughs> I want a watermelon bag. Okay. Anyways, uh, back to, back to, back to main, main, uh, main quest. <laughs> yeah, the real Alola trial, finding the perfect outfit. The character customization is so good in this game, Janita. It really is. It's so good. This is, like, legit the best. I think this is better than X and Y's, honestly. I think, I think this game has better, better than X and Y. I, I know some people will disagree with me on that, but that's how I feel. Yeah, I would wear this outfit IRL, including the chicken hat. If I had the chicken hat, I would wear it every day. Like literally every day, all, all day, every day. A hundred percent. Okay, hello, Probo Pass. How are you? <laughs> Probo Pass going up the stairs has a funny energy. Okay. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. And then, yeah, next we uh, we go from here to the, uh, like, Akala outskirts or whatever. Um, really quickly, though, um, I do want to uh, quickly run and get a refill on coffee. Uh, just because I'm, uh, I'm kind of running out of caffeine steam here. 
Um, so I'm gonna go on standby for a hot second and run a quick ad. So um, yeah, I'll do that real quick, and then we'll, we we will jump back in, and we, yeah, we are definitely gonna try and take on Olivia today. So yeah, that'll be cool. Um, so yeah, stay tuned, everybody. I shall be back. Okay, everybody, I have returned. Thank y'all for your patience. I appreciate it. Um, let's see. Uh, let me catch up here real, real quick. Um, do to do to do. Uh, oh, uh, Holy City Boutique is where the programmer socks are. That's where I just was. I thought. I don't think they're there. I mean, unless I don't know. Does their inventory expand over time? I don't know. Yeah, I, th I think that's where I just was. I didn't. I don't. I remember we looked when we were when we were there earlier in the playthrough. I'm pretty sure they're not there. Oh, also, uh, Citra, Citra glitches, good stuff. <laughs> eventually, I, I assume they'll eventually fix that because they did finally fix X and Y's visual glitches. So you know, hopefully that's a thing. Therapy says that's where you get them. Okay. The the you're, 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 you're just to be clear, we're talking about the stripey socks. I just call the programmer socks because funny because of funny meme. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the stripey socks are there? Maybe it's- it, I do know that there's some that are, like, Sun and Moon exclusive, but I don't think those ones are, so, hmm. Oh, was my standby music kind of going a little wonky for you, NB? Yeah, was it- was it wonky for anyone else? <laughs> let me know, let me know. Hey, SBS, welcome. No, I still haven't beat this. We- I was gone for, like, a week. <laughs> 
Oh, they're moon exclusive. No, there's no way they're moon exclusive. That's cringe as hell if they're moon exclusive. I'm really sad if that's true. I'm really sad if that's true. I love the stripy socks. Have I really just been playing a lot of moon lately and I just assumed they were in both? That's sad. <laughs> Uh, Arcanist says, wait, does English not have a word for Ufa? Like Victor's hat? Uh, beanie. V Victor from Sword and Shield? Uh, he wears a beanie. Yeah, that, that's the word for it. Ufa, interesting. Is that, that's, I, I assume that's Icelandic. I'm probably also saying it wrong, but yeah, very good. <laughs> Envy says that, uh, Moon gets the E-Girl glows. <laughs> I love that you call it the E-Girl clothes exclusively. Yeah, that is that is really unfortunate. Dang, I guess I guess I just must have played a lot of Moon or Ultra Ultra Moon like in recent memory. Cause yeah, like I I feel like I've worn those every time I played Alola in recent memory. But I guess I just must have been playing a lot of Moon. What a shame. <laughs> Laura says I, wish, says, I wish I could fight Olivia, but I'm tired and going to bed. Good luck for Olivia. Thank you so much, Laura. I appreciate it. Thanks for being here. Um, sleep well. We'll see you soon. Take care. We'll miss you. All that jazz. <laughs> Have a good night. Okay, let me heal up here real fast. Yeah, uh, Arcanine, uh, 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 there's a, a bunch of different kinds of beanies, like, as far as, like, their size and, like, because so, some beanies are, like, the, they're, like, flush to your head versus others, which are, like, kind of baggy in the back, like Victor's is. Um, some of them even have, like, a puff ball on the top. It's still a beanie. All of those are still beanies. But yeah, there you go. <laughs> Imparting the wisdom of the English language that I vaguely understand. <laughs> if my reading, if my, my, uh, my ability to read on stream is any indication. So, oh my god, who made my coffee so hot? What the heck? What the heck, who did that? Okay. Very good. Getting them levels. I actually don't know what level Olivia is going to be at. Does someone want to let me know? What level what level is Olivia's like in rot? Would appreciate the 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 knowledge who slam. Uh, do I want that over quick attack? 75 accuracy fucking blows. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna pass on it. I'd rather have the, like, I know quick attack is really weak and all, but slams accuracy is doo-doo. <laughs> well, basically everyone in, in Iceland wear, wears beanies. It's a really popular uh, thing here in the States, too, at least where I live. Be just, uh, yeah, beanies, like, for style reasons. Aha, uh -huh, walked right past her, very nice. Got the Metal Gear Solid skills. Out in the, out in the limelight here. Oh, Phantom, so cute. <laughs> Star says, I'm reminded of that post that went, uh, elephants have a specific sound to warn of danger. That's why uh, that there are bees nearby. And when someone asked, why don't we have a word for that? Another person said, we do, it's danger. There are bees nearby. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> That's beautiful. Let me through, dang it. So what is the plan for Olivia even? I'm not even sure. Uh, I'm a little spooked. Again, I don't know what level she's at. If someone wanted to take a peek at that for me, I would appreciate it. Um, but I guess, do we just rock out with Staryu and just kind of try and scald over her? I guess. I hope that's enough. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh wait, how could I forget about this? It's like one of my favorite scenes. Slow, low. <laughs> I love the zoom in, it's so great. <laughs> That's right, we're gonna sell this Pokemon to get rich and we won't make no bones about it. If you want it back, you're gonna have to take it. Hello? Stand firm, think of what the president would say. That's what you say, Chief, but you don't lift a finger. Why, I'm the Aether Foundation's last line of defense. Why would I become the, what would have become of the Foundation if something were to happen to me now? Ah, here's a promising young trainer. Fight in my stead, child, and rout these Team Skull ruffians. I will bestow honor upon you if you do. Okay, you got it, sir. Thanks, John Bill. Appreciate that. Like Rocks 27. We should be in good shape then. 
We sh at least as far as levels are concerned. Um, hopefully, hopefully Staryu is enough. Should I run Waterium Z or EVLA on Staryu, do you think, chat? Let me know. Okay, we got the Raticate. You got this, Twinkle Toes. Get him with the Air Cutter. Oh, in wait, interesting. Can you, like... Oh, wait. In Iceland, we do the quote... We do... When doing quotes, we do... Quote, comma, comma, instead of quote, quote? Wait, I can you use an example, Urkin? I'm, con I'm actually confused as to what you mean by that. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Like an actual, like, English difference? Huh. Wild. <laughs> Hey, Vanilla hits level 27. Very good. Oh, really? Oh, wow. That looks odd. That looks very, very odd. Uh, I won't... I, so it's like basically like a, a quote, except it's like on the bottom of the word. That's wild, Arcanine. Yeah, that's that looks very bizarre from the perspective of, of, of us. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's very interesting. And because I assumed that that was an online thing for some reason. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's wild. That's wild. I've never I've never seen that before. Maybe I just don't go, just don't socialize enough online or something. But yeah, no, I've I've literally never seen that before in my life. Well, it's, it's like when I see uh, like the Spanish, uh, like if you ex uh, exclaim something, like you just put an exclamation point on the end of it in English. But then like in Spanish, they they put like an upside down exclamation point at the start of the phrase as well. So it's like upside down exclamation point, then the phrase, and then the regular exclamation point. Kind of wild. <laughs> kind of wild, like the, the differences in language there. Very interesting. Oh, that's su that's super interesting. Uh, Nickname Ryder, welcome in. Good to see you. Uh, so, um, yeah, you, so y'all do the opposite with the German. That's crazy. <laughs> that's, that's Yeah, that's wild. That's wild. Dang. Yeah, what is, what is, that's so, is it like, out of curiosity, so like for, for both of y'all, is it like the sort of thing where it's like you would write like an Icelandic or a German phrase? Or would you, or is it like if you're writing in English, that's how you would do it? Or is it both? I'm curious. <laughs> I'm really curious. That's super interesting. Yeah, I'm just like so uninformed about like language in general that I just don't know. I just don't know anything about this. I am, I am very much like sheltered in my little... American bubble here. Also, that scared the shit out of me for a second. I just saw a star you faint, and I like had a panic attack for a second. <laughs> I was like, no, it's not my star you. Good. <laughs> Ooh, Gyarados, jeez. Um, I don't really have a whole lot of great options for that, do I? Uh, Pontala hasn't gotten to fight in a while. Come on out. <laughs> Okay, go for... I don't really have great options for this. I just toxic it. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, John Bill. <laughs> oh, okay, I see. So you wouldn't write it like that in English, just in Icelandic. That's interesting. Yeah, that's really interesting. Is that, like, how you're taught? Or is it just, like, kind of, like, the way that, that folks do it, like, colloquially? <laughs> word is so hard to say. Um, okay, let's go for quick attack. Nickname writer says, depends on who grades it, I guess. Uh, German is, uh, hello. Okay, yeah, with the, yeah, with the interesting quotation there. An English word would be this here, uh, unless I'd, ra uh, unless I'd refer it to a quote or something. Um, uh, that's, yeah, that's super, oh, that looks so, that looks so bizarre to see written out like that, from my perspective. Um, so yeah, that's super interesting. You're taught to do it. Wow, that's so wild. <laughs> that's so wild. Yeah, that's really interesting. Thanks for sharing, y'all. That's super, I don't know, that's just, like, really fascinating. Yeah, because definitely in in at least in American English, it's very much like just the the quotes on either side, like just the the top the top quotes on either side. Um, yeah, that, that's interesting. 
I wonder if there's a, yeah, I wonder, uh, uh, Poison, you're from Australia. Is there any other, like, weird language quirks that, like, Australians do for English? Or, or, or is that, is it basically just, like, kind of the same as, like, uh, like, uh, uh, English or, or, like, American English or, like, uh, British English? I'm curious. Uh, gra grammar and, like, linguistic stuff is, like, so fascinating to me. <laughs> I do find it very interesting. Oh my god, hang in there, Pontal. Jesus. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Whew. Okay, we're good, though. It's all good. <laughs> oh, yeah, that makes sense. I've done that before, too. Yeah, um, yeah, I've, d I've done that, too, yeah, with all the, all the extra, like, uh, little symbols, the little... It's, it's like a built-in character map. I kind of wish that was on, like, PC. The, um... The, uh... Like, like yeah, like, if you could just, like, long press a key, and then it would, like, pull up, like, a virtual keyboard on PC. I would actually love that. Instead of having to go to the character map for all that stuff. That'd be really convenient. <laughs> um, okay, let me... Let me get cleaned up here a little bit, because I kind of almost got bodied there. And that would have been very sad. Very good. And yeah, I, uh, I think Plumeria is coming up here too, so we gotta be careful. Uh, let's put Tim out front, should be fine. Oh yeah, we, we've definitely had that conversation before. The whole, um, the whole, the whole uh, uh, UK folks always wanna put those extra U's in there. <laughs> don't get it. I just don't understand. I know I'm just a dumb American. I'm ignorant. And they, they came up with the language first over in the UK, but like just saying, it's a lot of extra. That's a lot of extra you. It's not really necessary. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Color. I know it's just color, but still just funny. <laughs> Oh god, I love team spell music. Okay, we got some bat on bat violence here. Um, let's go for an air cutter. Oh, confuse ranker. So tired of confusion in Pokemon, I really am. <laughs> Alrighty then. Come on, Tim, you got this. Team Skull versus Team Star. Like, in a fight, or like, like, aesthetic fight? Because <laughs> aesthetically, aesthetically, Team Skull crushes them, like, with, with a force. <laughs> uh, okay, let me heal up, just to be safe. Just to be safe. You're gonna be, you're gonna be hard to deal with, aren't you, Plumeria? All right, come on, Tim. Get in there. Oh my god, chill. I think I broke out there. We got the crit back. Very nice. Uh, okay, let me be sloppy. This is a little too dangerous for my taste. Let's go into star power. Oh, you want to... Oh, like, like yeah, like, musically? Oh, that'd be interesting. Yeah, the mashup. Yeah, the team star team skull mashup. That would be... That would actually be pretty cool. <laughs> there are a lot of good Pokemon mashups out there, honestly. That would make for a really good one. I wonder if anyone's done it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Team Yell's not even invited. You know, for what it's worth, uh, the aesthetics on Team Yell, I actually enjoy quite a bit. Um, as, as a big fan of punk rock, I do enjoy their aesthetic. Um, I also very much enjoy their battle theme. Um, it sucks that their contribution to the game is so dog shit, but, you know, <laughs> what you gonna do? <laughs> but aesthetic, aesthetics and, and and music for, for Team Yell is actually pretty on point, though. I am a fan. Uh, Poison says, Australia's main thing is uh, just lots of slang uh, to the point that there's words that I, I don't even realize are just Australianisms until years later. Oh, yeah, interesting. <laughs> That's wild. Yeah, language is a funny thing. 
language is quite a funny thing. Okay, well, I gotta heal myself again. Very nice. Lumeria is being very rude. I should probably go back and heal before we... Do we... I don't think we got a free heal, do we? Before we fight Olivia? I don't think so. Don't poison gas me, a butthead. Football or soccer? I mean, I'm an American, so I say soccer, but... I mean, I, most, I feel like at this point, most Americans will know what you're talking about if you, if you said football in reference to soccer. So, at least there's that. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> Advanced rugby. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Just call it that. The one, the one that always uh, is funny to me is when people say American football. It, it has such a funny energy to me because it's such a popular sport in America. Um, but, you know, to differentiate it from soccer, they'll say American football, and it's like, yo. <laughs> It has a funny energy um, from the perspective of an American, of course. I'm going to go back and heal just in case. I might, you know, um, it might be unnecessary. Maybe I do get a free heal, but I'd rather not risk it because Olivia could mess us up pretty good um, if we let her. So I'd rather not take that chance. So back we go. Oh, wait, I can just fly. Ha ha ha. Well, <laughs> at least we'll have the super repel already good and ready when we are on our way back. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it makes sense, nicknamed. It, it makes a lot of sense. Um, it's just funny because I, I would I would wager to say that in the States that uh, that uh, American football, or, or as we just call it, football, <laughs> uh, football is, is um, like probably, I would say it's the most popular sport. Um, I guess that you could make an argument for a couple of the others. I know a lot of people associate America with baseball, and I feel like there was a time in America where baseball was the most popular. But I feel like I feel like baseball is kind of like not as popular as it once was. At least I, from the perspective of someone who doesn't follow sports at all, <laughs> baseball is not as popular as it, as it was like in like the you know like the fifties. Um, but uh, yeah, no, I would say that I would say that American football is probably the most popular. Maybe basketball after that. And then golf's pretty popular, too. Um, but soccer's definitely not. Um, soccer's not popular here at all. Um, and uh, aside from that, um, yeah, honestly, yeah, there's not a whole lot else. <laughs> there's not a whole lot else that I think people care about. Maybe wrestling, if that counts. But yeah, aside from that, <laughs> not a whole lot else. All right, here we are. Arkansas says sports fans in Europe are kind of wild, probably more than America. You think so? You think so? I don't know, but American sports fans are pretty insane, to be honest. They are pretty. They are pretty nutty. John Bill says uh, to me, it's either basketball or football. Yeah, I feel like those are like the definitely the most popular ones. Uh, it kind of depends on where in the country you are too. I feel I feel like uh, football is like pr pretty stinking popular like down south a lot. Uh, but I have seen a lot of basketball enjoyment, like, up north. So, yeah, it's kind of interesting. NB says baseball is popular as a child, and then football takes over, I think. Yeah, no, I, I kind of get that vibe, too. I kind of get that vibe, too. Janita says baseball is the best sport, in my opinion. Too bad it's not uh, popular in Norway. Yeah, fair, fair. Uh, when I was when I was young enough to like want to play sports, at, at this point I'm an, I'm a crusty old adult, but um, who doesn't who doesn't do the sports? But when I was young, the one I preferred of like all the big ones was basketball. Basketball was the most fun to me. Um, but these days I I don't play any sports. I'm, I, and I don't I definitely don't follow any. Like I don't watch TV. I don't watch sports on TV or anything like that. Nickname says, I can attest to the wild European sports fans. Uh, we're not normal about soccer at all. You know, I, I've, I've heard that, that, like, uh, everywhere but America, basically, everyone in the world is, like, obsessed with, with, uh, with soccer, which is, yeah, that's super interesting. Because <laughs> it's, it's, like, I don't, they probably do show it on TV in the States, but, like, it's not, like, at all, like, like, it's not, I wouldn't even put it in, like, the top five most watched sports here. <laughs> I'd probably, I, I would genuinely say wrestling probably has more, um, 
has more uh like of a following <laughs> which is yeah it's kind of interesting yeah maybe like even hockey yeah 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 canada canada loves their hockey it's true star it's true oh no not the pokedex get out of here i didn't mean to click that i just want to make sure we're all good and ready um for olivia here because we are about to jump into this fight hopefully it goes well yeah i definitely don't want to lead with tim um so yeah i guess should I go? I guess I'll ask again. Do I? Should I run with? Um, should I run with Watery MZ and just kind of hope to one shot the Lycan Rock, or should I try and go with the Evia Light and try and like just go with regular Scalds and Bubble Beams and hopefully like be able to take a hit a little bit better? What do y'all think? What's the what's the play here? Staryu is definitely the only thing I have for Olivia, so this is looking real spooky. <laughs> I do vaguely remember that star when people tried to make Frizz ultimate frisbee a thing. Yeah, it did not. It did not go over at all. <laughs> no one cared. I mean, I have Mankey too. I guess. I guess. That's true. That's true, Janita. That's true. I could. I could do something with Mankey. Maybe. I have the Phytanium Z on it. It's just that you know they're defensive rock types, so it's like I gotta you know keep that in mind. I feel like the only uh, reason people care about soccer in Australia is because there's so many English people here. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, Rulebaker says, I joined back just in time. Heck yeah, Rulebaker. Welcome back. Welcome back. I think I should water EMZ. All right, I guess I'll try for that. Um, we do have the backup with the Mankey. I'm glad you pointed that out, Janita, because I wasn't even thinking about it. Um... I think I feel like Star... Does, would Star you be faster than a Lycan Rock? That's a good question, actually. I, I wonder if she would... I wonder if she'll just straight up Rocky MZ. Hmm. You know, no sense fretting over it. Let's just go. Let's just jump in. Let's just do it. We'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see what happens. All right, then. You've completed the trials of the three captains here on Akala Island. Now you face the grand trial of the Kahuna, me. Get ready for the hardest Pokemon battle yet on Akala. Great, we're gonna give you guys everything we've got. And my partners are all adorable, rugged little rock types. Alright, let's go. Hey girl. How you doing? Yeah, Ooga Booga all the way, exactly. Exactly. Alright, Star Power, you got this. Alright, we'll go with Bubble Beam to start. This thing probably has Sturdy, if I had to guess. Oh my god, you ate that so well. What the heck? How did you eat that so well, Nosepass? What the... I was expecting a little more damage than that. Hey, let me... I'm gonna pull up her moveset real fast. Give me just a sec. How did that thing take that so well? I'm so confused. Okay, um, Grand Trial and Sun and Moon. Okay, this thing has Rock Slide, Spark, and Thunder Wave. Um. Well, dang. Um. Maybe I, maybe I should go out to Mankey? I hate that I'm paralyzed. I probably want to get unparalyzed before that Lycan Rock comes out. Got the spark. Okay, I gotta be careful with that. Oh, come on. Are you serious? <laughs> Let me, um. I need to unparalyze. We'll paralyze heal, uh, star you. I don't mind if Al Capone is, is paralyzed, but yeah, I need the star you to be good and ready to watch, to try and one shot the Lycan Rock at the when that comes up. And this thing is mean. <laughs> what the heck with this nose pass? Goes for another spark. Hey, we breaking out of paralysis. Hell yeah, Al Capone. Well done. Um, okay, let's just go for go for a brick break. Hey, that's more like it. Does Nose Pass have like good special defense or something? Oh no, okay, that was a crit. All right, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. We'll take it. And now we're now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. All right, we got the Bulldor coming out. I think we'll stay in. The Bulldor is running Rock Blast, Mud Slap, and Headbutt. 
Nothing I'm super worried about. Let's see if we can cross chop. This is a little little risky, but hey, very nice. But you're very defensive, okay. You are very defensive. Oh my chill! Not that serious! <laughs> that was a little more damage than I expected. Heal up. You got this, Al Capone. Another headbutt. That's so much damage. <laughs> Why is that so much damage? Ah, uh, we're in a bit of a bad spot here, chat. Um, I wonder if Pontal could come. I do have Surf on Pontal. Pontal take a hit. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now we're cooking. All right, give him the surf. All right, perfect. Al Capone hit 28, very good. Getting all these levels. All right, here's the Lagan Rock. So yeah, I'm hoping star you with the Water Gym Z. All right, moment of truth. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Ooh, she went first. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, uh, Continental Crush. That's very rude, Olivia. I love how I love how over the top this animation is, but ouch! Oh no, star power! That was very rude. What the heck, Olivia? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I lost a star, Star Champ. That's very sad. It's very sad. No. <laughs> uh, bad time. Bad time in incoming. Um, what do Pantal with Surf? I guess. Shit. I'm like. I mean, I know that like we were worried about it being outspeeding. I was hoping I could at least leave a hit. Maybe I should have gone Evie Light instead. <laughs> oh no. That is very unfortunate. Um, I guess Pontal's our best bet. At least she can't do it again. All right, give him the surf. Okay, Pontal takes a hit pretty good, actually. And now I kind of wish I'd just gone out to Pontel in the first place. Pontel is taking these hits actually really, really well. I'm surprised. There we go. Okay. Man, that sucks that we lost the star you, though. <laughs> I'm glad we won it all, but, like, dang. <laughs> That's a shame. That is a shame. Get some level ups, but hey, we, we came out with the W. I guess that's the important part. We can use Star You again in the future. But yeah, what a shame. What a shame. I got I got Rocky Z SBS. It was kinda lame. It was kinda lame. Oh, we should get all Sundari about it. Very good. Very good. No, you can't evolve. You are you are just a manky, my friend. My apologies. Okay. We made it through. That's the important part. Stay positive. Give me them positive vibes in the chat. Diamonds only sparkle after coals push to its absolute limit. You guys are the best. Here, the rock type Z crystal. The Rockium Z is all yours. Yeah, I, I probably could. I'll probably save it. I always like to save it for like the earlier gens. When I, whenever I lose a uh, an older gen Pokemon, I'll probably save Star You for either Gen three or Gen four because we're so short on Pokemon in that generation. Um, so yeah, I'll I'll probably do that. Yeah, very good. We get ourselves the Rocky M Z. Excellent progress. Onto the layout it goes. 
beautiful. Okay, so yeah, now we can move on. What's what's next? I guess we're going to Ula Ula Island next, huh? We are kind of closing in on the end of stream time though, so I I probably we'll probably go figure out what we're gonna add to the team, and that's probably where we'll end things off for today. I'll have uh, I'll as usual I'll have chat help me figure it out. I know I'm very sad about the star you. It is a shame. It put in some decent work for us for a little while too, which was yeah, it's kind of kind of bummy. I think in retrospect I should have one I should have done Eviolite star you, and two I should have done um, I should have I should have done Pontal for the Lycan Rot. Obviously like there's no way I could have you know planned that out. Uh, honestly Pontal took a hit a lot better than I expected. Um, but yeah, um, it, it, if I had it to do over, I would do, I would do the, the fur it out front. So, you know, it do be that way sometimes. Okay, so yeah, we just got to go back to the Pokemon Center real quick. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, Staryu is one of our non-fully evolved slots, so we'll need to figure out a, we'll need to figure out a, a Pokemon that can still evolve to add to the team, of course. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what we get. And our, our level cap is Sophocles? It'd be Togedemaru, right? Or no, it's, that's Ultra. Um, it'd be Totem Vicavolt, which is... Uh, let me pull that up real fast, see what level we're working with here. Um, gonna pull up the page for Totem Pokemon real quick. Okay, so the Vicavolt is level 29. Um, which actually I think we have Pokemon that are higher level than that at this point. Um, but none of them are from this playthrough, so, uh, yeah, 29 is our cap. 29 is our cap. Let me Charizard glide over to Kony Kony City, and we will figure out what we're gonna add. Do you think Pontal would have died to the Rocky MZ? I guess it's possible. It's possible. It's possible. I wonder if, I wonder if Staryu would have lived the Rocky MZ with the Eviolite. I probably should have made defense, like, number one priority, honestly. <laughs> but it, it happens. It happens to the best of us. I'm sorry, star power. Okay. Into the PC we go. We'll, uh, we'll pull off the Water EMZ. And then, I'm sorry, Star Power, goodbye, thank you for everything. Okay, so yeah, we can add up to level 29. They should all be in order by level, so looks like we can go all the way into the next box as well. Um, okay, so 29, and then 30. Okay, so yeah, this um, <laughs> Big Ed here is the, is the highest we can go. Um, and it has to be a Pokemon that is still capable of evolving. Um, actually, Big Ed might be a Graveler, so that, that might be a potential option right there. Um, but I, I think we should probably base it on, like, what we... what Like, y'all are so much better at, uh, at team balancing than I am. <laughs> so, if y'all see something that's, like, an obvious inclusion based on our team, uh, that would be helpful. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see here. Um... I'm so bad. I'm so bad at team balancing. Holy shit. Um, what would be good? What, what do we have coming up to? We have we have electric. We have ghost. Maybe a dark type wouldn't be terrible. Um, ground type wouldn't be terrible. Uh, Porygon. Uh, this is a Porygon Z. So yeah, <laughs> I can't use this one unfortunately. Um, uh, Rubix is honestly a big as an option. You really need something for Vicavolt. That's true. That's true. Yeah, and a rock type would be good for it. A rock type would be good for it. Plus, it you know as an electric type, you, you know don't have to worry too much about electric stuff. Big Ed is not a terrible idea. I, let me verify that this is in fact a Graveler and not a Golem. But I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure based on the name that it is a Graveler. Um, yep, Big Ed is in fact a Alolan Alolan Graveler slot. Um, so yeah, honestly, not a terrible not a terrible choice. Um, yeah. Let's see what else we have, though. Let's see what else we have. We do have, uh, looks like a little Grimer is here, for sure. Because since we have both of these here, one of these has to be the, the Grimer. Grimer wouldn't be terrible for, um, for, uh, Mimikyu. Uh, so, uh, you know, Poison-type for the Fairy. 
Well, I guess it's neutral on a ghost, huh? But still, dark type for the for for it as well. I don't know. It'd be a, it'd be a decent mod against the the Mimikyu, I guess. Um, let's see what else do we have. We can also go back here and get something. Uh, the the Trumbeak is always a, a solid one as well, worth considering. So what is Steeny? Um, let me take a peek. Uh, this is uh, this is definitely my Sarina. This is my usual Sarina name. Yeah, can't use that one. Though I do think we have. I could swear we had a, a Steenie as well, somewhere. Maybe it's in Sword and Shield. Can't remember. Oh well. Um. Nah. I, maybe we should just go with Big Ed. Big Ed's good. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go with Big Ed. <laughs> it's easy, and like everyone was just like, "Oh yeah, that's a good choice." So yeah, let's go with Big Ed. That works for me. Yep. Final answer. <laughs> and yeah, we'll um. And heck, I don't even have to do all all that all that uh. All that grinding, too. Ooh, air balloon? That's not a bad idea. Where do I get the air balloon at? If anybody knows, that would actually be a pretty good strategy. <laughs> if someone tried to go for ground moves, I could just have Big Ed floating on a tiny balloon. <laughs> I like the visual. I like the, like, mental image of that. That's funny. Yeah, we stand Big Ed. Heck yeah, poison. <laughs> um, Yeah, very good. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think this will do. I think this will do. I'll go ahead and commit to it. All right, Graveler A. Come on now. Into slot one as a Graveler. And there we are. Gorgeous. Uh, melee garden for the balloon. Oh, perfect. That's actually coming up. So yeah, we can um, we can try and snag that uh, once we get there. Very good. Good call out, Janita. We'll we'll, we'll try and get that uh, squared away. <laughs> that could be a really good strategy. I like it. Um, so yeah, I guess uh, that's where we'll go ahead and wind things down then for the day. Um, so yeah, um, I am not streaming tomorrow. Um, tomorrow's Thanksgiving. So uh, happy Thanksgiving to you all. If, uh, if y'all celebrate it, um, have some delicious Thanksgiving dinner for me. I will also be having some. So <laughs> very good stuff. If you don't celebrate, then I, you know, have a good Thursday, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, the next stream will be on Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific time um, for some more Forever Lock Challenge here in Pokemon Sun. Um, for those of you who haven't already, if you feel like checking out the Foreverlock Discord, you can uh, hang out with the community and get all the updates and stuff. Use the command exclamation point Discord to grab the link for that if you want to. Um, but yeah, so I will go ahead and uh, skedaddle, and I will see you all on Friday. Um, happy, happy Thanksgiving, and I will see you all soon. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.